Salam alaikum. How y'all doing? Uh, hey and stuff, man. It's Daniel Lucas again. Okay, I want to do a rundown real quick. And that is with ah, Kato's a few line of two baggage car, phase three, number 61006. All right, so it's a really quick interview, uh, quick um, review. I did some detail work, okay? Of course, you got your bubble wrap, little bubble wrap cover. You know, your little instruction, you know what I'm saying? Your little instruction, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Change out, you know what I'm saying, your Kato couplers or whatever. But I did something a little extra I'm about to show y'all, all right? And, of course, here you go. The baggage car. Right? Let's just pull it out. I'm going to take a look. Now, unlike what other people done, okay, I went an extra mile. I walked the extra mile with this car. All right? Uh, with this Cato car, excuse my desk and stuff, man. Shoot, sure, I just got finished doing some detail work to this car, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. All right. Uh, if anybody is modeling modern day contemporary uh, regional and long distance uh, Amtrak trains, you've been seeing this car right here. Okay, this is the this is made by CAF. Okay, in real life in uh, upstate New York, central southern New York region. All right, it's pretty simple but rather decent, and you know. Well thought out and great looking car. You know what I'm saying? Uh it's part of the view liner type deal. Uh now let's get to the deal. What I did with this car, unlike what others did, okay. Cato has a thing where a lot of times their um their back is the uh each end of the cars is pretty basic and stuff. So, you know, what I've already done was I've added the grab irons and everything necessary, okay, that goes with the car. What I did with the ends, okay, I got that cheesy um, Kato coupler from out of there. And I added a, I added a KD coupler and stuff, a 58 KD coupler, number 58. And I added some wire or whatever and stuff, man, as well as a couple of lift bar. Okay, as you can see, you know, um, let's put, you in, put it in the light so excuse the movement and everything. I went on ahead and I added a light bar as well inside the car. And I added the grab irons, okay, the uh, stirrup steps, okay. And there's something about the trucks as well, okay, and I'm going to show you all in a minute. Now, of course, you know, you're not going to expect much in the interior, but you know, they got some kind of molding in there that holds up the uh, marker lights, okay? And another thing with this car, okay, a lot of the writing and the placards and everything on there, the decals and everything for the cars is quite legible on the magnification, okay? Again, as you can see, the uh, roller bearings roll. You know, it's a pretty neat touch, okay? And again, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, super detailed the ends because, you know what I'm saying, for the price of the car, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I want to add some life because uh, sometimes the cars is usually at the end on some trains, especially some of the Eastern trains or whatever. So, you know, you want to go ahead and add the... Uh, you know, some kind of, you know, rear interior to it. So, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of light. So that way you see what I'm talking about. Okay, I added the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the uh, HEP cables as well. You know, to the A and B end. You know, as you can see. Now, unlike most other models... Okay, the sheen of the car, okay, is rather prototypical. You know, it's got the Amtrak America Teal logo, okay, to a phase three paint uh, backing. 
You know, um, so it's not like saying that it's a new new wave of rainbow era. However, what we're going to do is we are going to put this car, okay, on the track so we can check the lighting. All right, so. so. Now, I do modern-day model railroading, you know what I'm saying, mostly Empire Service, Ethan Allen, you know, uh, Lakeshore Limited, Maple Leaf, Adirondack. So, you know, these cars are quite common. This is my brake. So, I'm going to put this car right here on the track. All right. Uh, I'm a believer in close coupling. Just going to hook this car up to I'm saying, the Amfleet Coach. Here we go. As you can see, you know what I'm saying, close coupling. And also, what you see there... You see the roller bearing cap spin. Okay, a pretty neat touch. And what we're going to do, I'm going to tell you, we're going to add the uh, ALC 42 locomotive to the car. All right. Just another couple. Now, another thing, you know, again, I'm a very firm believer in close coupling, you know what I'm saying? So, let's cut this light off so you can see the uh, interior lights of the uh, baggage coach, you know, and behind the uh, Amtrak car, I mean, the uh, ALC 42 from Bachman. So, um, and I collect quite a bit of Amtrak equipment from Rapido lately. You know, lately from Rapido. Um, as well now, this right here is a new addition. I'm sure I don't have much room here. I just wanted to do a focal point right now on the uh, baggage coach. Okay, for Kato. And again, it's a pretty neat touch. You know, there is some things, I mean, we can look over, okay, like that mold inside that holds up the, um, you know, holds up the uh, marker lights, okay, which, you know, I walked out of the hobby shop and I ain't even get the daggone kit, you know, for the the marker lights. And I was going to get a lighting kit as well for the Amply coach as well. You know, I'll put the other Amply coaches behind that, but, uh. For those out there that, you know what I'm saying, that do take Amtrak in real life, you know what I'm saying, again, you see a lot of this, you see a lot of this, and what your trains is going to be looking like from now on, you know, so this is what your trains out there is going to be, uh, what you're going to be seeing, so anybody out there that's doing modern day Amtrak, this is your train, excuse me. Now, again, um, these cars are sometimes on the back of the train. You know, it's a pretty basic baggage coat. So, again, I'm about to cut this thing short because, I mean, it's pretty obvious, if anything. Now, some people out there, they just take it out of the box and they just put it on the track. And that's fine, okay? You know, but... uh me, I, when I take something out of the box like I did with the Rapido equipment, you know, like the Comet cars and all of that, nah, I had to touch that up. I had to get rid of those gaps because, you know, I'm around trains all day, as y'all can see. So it's got to be real. You know, it's got to be, you know, it, it has to be real. So, you know, with the, uh, you know, taking and just spending so much time around the trains so you know you're gonna see certain things certain details especially you know that of close coupling now yes can this can they all navigate around 22 inch radius curves yes they can all my equipment does okay 
I will reduce speeds usually, of course. You know, 24 inch radius is usually my lowest. You know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, mostly with my Rapido equipment, I uh, use them more than anything else. Now, Walker's equipment, like the Bud Coaches, you know, the um, Amphlee Coaches, Amphlee 1 and Amphlee 2 Coaches, I may use them mostly. All the Heritage Fleet, no, I deaded all of that. If I use any Heritage Fleet, okay, it's coming from Rapido. Okay, it's going to be tricked out. However, okay, you know, just like this Cato and anything out there that's new, you know, for model railroaders out there to do modern day trains, okay, you'll see a lot of, you know, this is what you're going to usually see. Now, we could overlook that little mold thing in there, those little mold coverings, okay? Most people out there, they don't even bother to light the part. They just want to put it inside the train. You know what I'm saying? I guess because of, you know, time and everything. And these cars came out in, what, 2012? They are ongoing. Amtrak has been purchasing a lot of equipment from CAF, I mean CAF, from Elmira, New York, as well as Siemens Mobility, you know, is contracting a lot of work, okay, for Amtrak equipment going forward. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of things out there. Bachman is actually supposed to be releasing the, uh, you know, Venture Coaches. Okay. Hopefully, that'll be coming soon. But, uh, again, you're going to be seeing a lot of this. And I'm quite sure that this is not the end for Cato. Okay. For Amtrak equipment. So, it's a pretty bright time for people who do model Amtrak. Depending on the success of these cars. Okay, which, you know, I see that it's a bright spot because I got a lot of buddies out there to talk about it. You know, you talk about wanting to have, you know, these coaches. You know, this it's uh, it's available at your brick and mortar hobby shops. Okay, they're available and stuff. Um, it's around $89. You know what I'm saying? RSMB, um, you know, the retail price. Manufactured retail price, excuse me. And, uh, but you know, you can get it at a very lower, lower price than that. I mean, it's a baggage car, you know, a pretty modern day baggage car, you know, as you see today. So you're not going to see, um, much heritage cars, but, uh, you'll be seeing this a lot, you know, and, uh, like I said, you know, I think, you know, for those out there to do model, you know, any modern day Amtrak, okay, this is your ticket. You know what I'm saying? Now, some people out there, they kind of wish that, you know, Amtrak had this in the Phase 5. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that would have been cool. But, hey, listen, you know, Phase 3 was, you know, it's pretty much what set the trend for Amtrak. And and I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty happy with what I got and stuff and everything that I've got, everything that I own. Okay, as far as passenger equipment and stuff, I just usually take and, you know, put my spin to it and, you know, try to super detailed, rivet count it, just like what you see out there, you know. So, I mean, as I see right now, the only thing that's missing on this car is the rivets. But, hey, you know, again, we should be happy what we got. We should be happy that somebody's producing you know, these cars. We should be happy some of these manufacturers are starting to listen to us. So I can't complain. Let me cut this short right now. Again, like, share, subscribe, you know, like it, bump it, dump it, write it. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? This stuff, man, it's your money. You know, I think it's worth it, you know, the, the car and everything. I think, you know what I'm saying, what Bachman has done, they've done a very bang-up job, okay, on their... Uh, ALC 42s as well as the SC 44 Chargers, all of which I own. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? Their Horizon Fleet Coaches also, which I own for Rapido. Um, and you know what I'm saying? These model manufacturers are really stepping up. So I'm gonna cut this video short. I'm still gonna run up my data. I'm gonna, uh, again, like, share, subscribe, and you know what to do. All right, have a nice night.